Over the course of its history of human occupation, the Willamette Valley has been home to Native Americans for at least 12,000 years. And what brought them here and what kept them here was the amazing bounty of this place. Starting in about the middle of the 19th century, white settlers showed up here and uh, settled in the area around Charbonneau and uh, Champouy. And what drew them here was really, again, this amazing bounty. Uh, we have these wonderful soils that are half a mile thick at the valley floor and incredibly fertile. What brought my father to the Lamma Valley was his research that he'd done. He looked all over the world for the best place to plant Pinot Noir outside of its home in Burgundy, France. And the Willamette Valley was it. When my father came up here, and also the families that followed soon after, so the Ponsies and the Adelsheims and the Blossers and, and the other founding generations came, they came with high ambitions. It wasn't that they just stumbled onto this. It was that they knew that it's what they wanted to do. And they weren't here just to make wine, they were here to make great wine. When Dad planted here, he planted uh, the first Pinot Noir in the Willamette Valley, but he also planted some varieties that were new to the entire United States. So behind us here is Pinot Gris. This is the first Pinot Gris planted in the U.S. and it was planted in 1965. And so, in 1970, we released the first Pinot Gris ever made in the New World. One of the things that's really cool about the Willamette Valley is that when people came here early on, they really had a desire to do things differently. And one of the things they did differently was to work really hard to establish their, their vineyards organically. So the Irie Vineyards has been organic since we started. But when you drink a wine from the Willamette Valley, you're more likely to find a wine from a sustainably sourced vineyard than any other place in the world. When I took over winemaking here at Irie, I definitely made changes, but those changes were to try to emphasize the factors that I think have always made Irie great. The two legacies that my father left me are the ability for the wines to age and the ability for the wines to express place. So I'm just building on that.